Number 34, determine the following to four significant figures. And then letter B, we need to find the percent composition of TNT, which is C6H2, CH3, NO2, 3. Okay, let's figure out the percent composition. Now remember, a percent in math is just a part divided by a whole times 100. The same thing for chemistry, just has a, a little bit more wording. So I'll put it right here. This is the formula for a percent composition. A percent composition of any element or a part of a compound is just that amount of that certain element that you want. So this is the part divided by the total amount, AKA the whole. And then we just multiply by 100. Now, the first thing that I see is I see a whole mess over here. So instead of trying to figure out the percent composition of this, I like to just make sure that I group all of the like elements together. So let's see, I'm going to write up here that this was C6H2. Then there was a CH3. Then there was an NO2-3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group like elements together. So I have carbons here and I have carbons here. Now I have six carbons here, right? And I have one carbon here. So the total amount of carbons that I have is seven. So I will just say that this is C seven. Let's group up the total hydrogens. I see that I have a hydrogen here. I have a hydrogen here, right? I have two hydrogens and I have three hydrogens. So two plus three is five. So I have now five total hydrogens. And then I have this, right? If you want to distribute this three into the compound already, that's fine with me. This is telling me that I have to multiply whatever I have of nitrogen and what I have of oxygen by three. So there was only one nitrogen here so one times three, I really have three nitrogens. And then two times three, I really have six oxygens. So now the compound is a little bit easier to manage. I have a distinct amount for all of my elements. Now I need to find out the percent composition for each of them. Well, how are we gonna get these amounts, right? The amounts are going to be the molar masses coming from the periodic table. So let's just set this up. Let's see. I'm going to, maybe I'll do it over here. So I have C, I have H, I have N, and I have oxygen. For each one of these, you're going to just write down how many you have, right, to get a molar mass. So we already did that, right? We said that there was seven carbons, five hydrogens, three nitrogens, and six oxygens total. Now we have to multiply each one by the molar mass that's found on the periodic table. Your number doesn't have to match mine specifically, but just make sure that it's roughly the same number. So on the periodic table, I look for carbon and my molar mass that I see is 12.01 and that's grams per mole. For hydrogen, it's in group one. It's the first element. The molar mass for hydrogen on my periodic table is 1.008 grams per mole. And grams per mole is just the unit of molar mass. Nitrogen is 14.01. Let me just make this a bit better. 14, 14.01 grams per mole. And then we have oxygen, which is 16.00. And that's grams per mole. So I just have to multiply each one. So I'll do seven times 12.01, five times this, three times that, and six times this, right? So let's see, seven times 12.01. I get 84.07, and that's grams per mole of the carbon. The total hydrogen, five times 1.008, I get 5.04 grams per mole of the hydrogen. For nitrogen, I do three times 14.01. So I get 42.03 
grams per mole, and that's of the nitrogen. And then the oxygen, 6 times 16, is 96. I'm just going to add the two zeros just to keep it, you know, concise. So grams per mole, and that's oxygen. Now, we still need to find the total amount. So just like any molar mass, you're going to add all of these values up. So I'm going to add up all these values, and that's my total molar mass for the entire compound of TNT. So 84.07 plus 5.04 plus 42 plus 42.03 plus 96 is 200. And 27.14, and that's grams per mole of the entire compound. So that's the total number. Now we just have to find the percent composition for all four of these elements. So let's start from the top and work our way down. So the percent of carbon would be part divided by whole. The amount, the total amount of carbon, we already said it was this number, right? 84.07. So it would be 84.07 divided by the total amount, and that's the molar mass of the whole compound, 227.14. And then all I got to do is just times by 100. Next one, percent hydrogen. The total percent for hydrogen is 5.04, right? So I'm going to say 5.04. And that's all divided by the total molar mass, 227.14. And just multiply that by 100. Next, we got the percent of nitrogen. Percent of nitrogen is this total number of nitrogen. So 42.03, all divided by the total molar mass, which is the 227.14, times that by 100. And then, gosh, where am I going to put oxygen? I guess I'll put oxygen up here. <laughs> the, percent, the percent of oxygen equals, this is the total amount for oxygen, the 96. So I'll say 96.00, all divided by the total molar mass of 227.14, and then times it by 100. Okay, let's do the math. So actually, I'll just, I'll just put this all in blue. So percent carbon equals, we got to do these to four sig figs, guys. So 84.07 divided by 227.14 times 100. Four sig figs, I get 37.01%. Okay, one done. So this is the percent for carbon, roughly 37% of the whole molecule. The percent hydrogen, 5.04 divided by 227.14 times 100. Four sig figs, I get 2.219, 2.219%. So roughly, hydrogen doesn't really take up much percent or mass in general. Nitrogen, percent N equals... 42.03 divided by 227.14 times 100. 18.50 percent. Okay. And then oxygen. Seems like that's the big boy. 96 divided by 227.14 times 100. I get 42.26. Oh, percent oxygen equals 42.26%. And those are all of your percent composition of each individual element of TNT. Now, in order to just check yourself, what should a percent always equal to? The total amount of percent is always 100%. So if we did this correctly, our number, when we add all the percents up, should come very, very close to 100%, if not exactly 100. So I'm just checking that out right now, guys. And yeah, it comes out to 99.989, .989, which, when rounded, is 100%. So there you go. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. Give this video a like, you know, uh, press the thumbs up, and... Yeah, I hope I'm helping you guys out. 
Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to help us out. It just gets the word out there that this survey says this. And let's keep, let's keep crushing these questions, all right, guys? Good luck on your tests and quizzes coming up. And have an awesome day. I believe in you. You got this. Bye-bye.